who describe themselves as dressing case makers and perfumers to His Majesty something George H. Duke of York are recorded in the accounts of George IV as having supplied, in 1828, a rosewood writing desk aged with brass and pure border, patent lock and flaps, covered with green velvet, interior glass mounted with silver for 15 pounds and 12 shillings. From the, the price of for this box is very high, very, very fine box. At least five times that which could have been expected for a normal with quality brass. box. With a cross banding of ebony inlaid with individual pieces of brass, each pierced with a quatrefoil for good luck. The brass is held by pins, and inside the box opens up to such finely tooled dark. Oh no, leather, tooled with anthemiums in the old bailey, and palmettes. In 1886, there are two keys, one for the flat and one for the main box. Selling two inkwells of eyes, not quite matching, but both period. The back of the lid opens down. And the box opens up, it's a triple opening box. The leather work is slightly stained here and there. One of the keys is for the flap. In the lid, there is a pocket which opens down, with a document wallet behind it. Sometimes, and it is on the back panel, Bailey's blue and the Chapman, has this flap has got its own separate lock. There are secret compartments beneath the divisions, the drawers, have bone handles and are constructed with mitre joints. The ink well's not ah, quite matching. This catch is unusual. Here's a leather like a lock on the outside. There is a pocket which opens down with a document wallet behind it. And it is on the back panel that Bailey, the sprung panels concealing the secret drawers, is released by pulling on one of the divisions next to the ink well. The box has two rosewood faced drawers with bone books. George the Fourth is having supplied in eighteen twenty eight a rosewood writing desk edged with brass and buell border. Patent lock.